3, 2, 1, go. Okay, okay, decent, nice sound. Would you rather take the XLP or the old G-Class 4x4 or the 6x6? Let's go. Guys, as you know, it's always important to give you something back for your amazing support. And yeah, Brabus has just given me these coffee mugs. So if you are interested in winning one of these, just leave a comment with hashtag Team Brabus in the comment section and I will be uh, picking up winners for this nice coffee mug. If you want to check out their shop, it's linked in the description. All in all, guys, enjoy watching the video. Let's go. Hello, guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. As you can guys see, I am at Brabos at the headquarters in Bottrop and we have some crazy cars getting ready today. But our full focus will be on the Brabos 800 XLP. But this in specific is not a normal one. This here is the Brabos 800 XLP Super Black Edition. This thing is just amazing and we will be doing a full walk around, but just a quick one as we have done multiple ones. And then afterwards we will be jumping inside for drive so stay tuned for that let's go right into it let's talk about the performance before we start this thing is based on the mercedes amg g63 what bravos has done is yeah they extended it you have an xlp xl pickup and this is pushing it up to 800 horsepower v8 by turbo Brabus has done a lot of things regarding the exterior and the interior, but let's get right into it. The entire theme of this car, yeah, super black. It's full blacked out, and this is a car that you will love. First of all, the front, we have the additional carbon fiber hood extension here by, made by Brabus, full carbon fiber. The headlamps are exactly the same. Looking at the carbon fiber grille, uh, we have a frame here made out of carbon fiber, and the so-called Panamericana front grille is also finished in black with the carbon details. All in all, we have an additional cable winch here on the front, giving this the final touch. This is a real off-roader. This is a tool, guys, I'm telling you. On top of the roof, you can see the roof lights. And in addition to that, we have the carbon fiber details as well. On the side, guys, here you can see that we have a huge car. This is a pickup. We don't have this with any Mercedes, but this is what Brabos is for. And looking at the wheels, we have the Brabos XL specific wheels. These are perfectly made for off-roading. These in specific are just 22 inches, but as you yeah, get back, they look super, super small. Imagine, these are 22 inches. The entire tire is just humongous. 325, 55 or 22, all in all full finish in black. You can also spot the brake calipers. Yeah, looking at the side, we also have the Brabus white body kit installed on that and a lot of carbon fiber additional parts such as these and the extension itself here as well. By Turbo 800 badge finished in black and white, giving it a very nice contrast. The side mirrors carbon fiber. On top we have, yeah, the additional rooftop perfectly made for off-roading to yeah put things up there and as soon as i like open up the door we have the additional entrance board which yeah moves out automatically moves back in afterwards something very cool and interesting is that we have the additional exhaust system by Brabos, which we've already seen with the 900 Rocket Edition G-Class. And we also have it on this car here. The sound is great, we'll be listening to that afterwards. In the back again, 22 inches, huge. This is just huge and made for off-roading, guys, I'm telling you. Guys, looking at the rear, we have yeah, the loading area. Let me just open that up here for you. And you have the Brabos initials on it. We have a spare tire here. Yeah, and also some gas cans finished in black with the Brabus emblem as well, plus the LEDs. And also there is a nice detail saying, yeah, Brabus XLP 800 Super Black. All in all, this looks extremely good. And this really serves a purpose, you know, guys? Closing this again, instead of having the spare tire in the back, we have it yeah, on the loading space. Instead, we have this carbon fiber cover here, Brabus emblem as well, yeah, surrounded by a white color tone, 
giving you a very nice contrast, 800 horsepower. And all in all, guys, this thing is a beast. I just love the full black look on this. But guys, that's it for the walk around. Let's go ahead and start with the drive. Guys, we are now right inside the Brabos 800 XLP Super Black and yeah, the entire interior is full blacked out. Wow. Guys, let me just close the door here. It's not closed yet. This is how you close a door inside an XLP or G-Class. We have the key right here in the back. We also have the Brabos initials, which I love. We have a separate space for the key right over here. Just close that here. Let me just start the ignition. Okay, guys, we will be starting up the beast inside. Yeah, the Brabos holds here. Just start up the engine. I will lower the window for you first. Okay, so you have a nice sound. Three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, decent, nice sound. We are starting to drive now, so let's go. Wow. This thing drives like a tank, I'm telling you, so heavy. So guys, we are starting the drive inside this humongous tank, okay? But before we leave the Brabos headquarters here at Bottrop, uh, there's a lot to see, I'm telling you. Brabos S-Class, GT4 door, old S-Class, the ML63, the CL white body, okay? But there's something I've seen when I came here and it's right on my right hand side here. Guys, would you rather take the XLP or the old G-Class 4x4 or the 6x6? What would you rather take? The XLP 4x4 or 6x6? Leave it in the comment section below. And all in all guys, this place is heaven on earth. I'm telling you, a lot of G-Classes. Just try to count them. It's not ending, I'm telling you. On this side, we have a lot of G-Classes. All of them are from the factory. And Brabos is, yeah, Bravo sizing them afterwards. But yeah, let's just leave now and start with the drive. Talking more about this car here in specific. Here we have the 800 XLP. I've driven the 800 uh, XLP Adventure back in the days. If you remember, we went to, yeah, McDonald's and uh, to the drive-in. This thing, I'm telling you, is just huge okay this is made for off-roading bravos has decided to give the g-class a little spice you know extending it and making a yeah, pickup version out of it i mean there's also a mansory version of the g-class pickup but it only has a two door but with this one we have a four door it's uh, much longer this is an, a special edition called the super black and in the interior you can clearly see why it's called super black as you see the entire interior is finished in black and it's not a normal black leather that you can see here this is real leather this is not like the article leather we have in a mercedes or in all the other models this really feels like leather like leather back in the days do you get what i mean it's whole new level of quality i'm telling you this this feels so good especially here on the steering wheel which is also finished in full black with the nice carbon touches this is just gorgeous also shadow chrome finish on the buttons here wow yeah the interior is very special and something cool i've just spotted is that inside the mercedes amg g63 you have a watch here back in the days it was the iwc watch but now it's a Panerai watch. As you guys know, Brabus and Panerai started yeah, a corporation. And here we have a Panerai watch instead of the normal standard Mercedes-Benz watch, which looks super cool, honestly. When you also look outside while driving, you spot the hood extension here made out of carbon fiber. Looking towards the driver, you can see the Brabus emblem as well. This makes the drive so much more special, as you guys know, than as you then re really realize that you're driving a Brabus. Expect for the performance you have, you know? Ooh. Guys, we have a speed limit here. 
we'll be driving a bit out of the town here where it's a bit crowded but we have a tunnel right there let me just lower the window for you sound is really good I'm telling you it's comparable to the sound we had with the G900 rocket edition back in the day it's nice pops and bangs as we know it from Brabos all in all guys I'm sorry we don't get a lot of light in the interior because when you look at the top we have the additional roof the off-road rooftop therefore the sunroof is actually covered the half therefore you don't get a lot of sunlight in the interior also as we have a full black interior it really observes all the daylight coming in in total it looks very dark but if you really experience it in full flash it looks extremely good and it also feels extremely good i mean all the materials used by brabos are high-end masterpiece interior as they call it they also have the badges here in the interior the carbon fiber touches the leather touches are just top-notch and the drive feels so much better you don't even dare to put your dirty shoes on these floor mats because I mean these are handmade and how dare you to put your dirty shoes on them I would rather drive with socks instead of dirty shoes okay guys it's a bit wet but the road is a bit empty so we will be pushing it let's go sound is very nice guys I'm honest with you this thing is heavy it's super heavy we have a lot of weight on this car in specific it's not only the XLP in total but I mean we have a spare tire in the back we have a lot of additional parts such as the rooftop the lights the cable winch and everything in total making this car super heavy but the Brabo's performance is pushing it as if it was a normal G63. Wow! This is so... This is so impressive. This drives like a normal G63. The only thing is that it's, yeah, way larger than this G63. And only because of the Brabo's performance. I mean the sound is good but who really drives a G-Class fast therefore I do not really care about the performance but the drive is just so crazy it drives like a tank this is heavy I mean everyone is fearing you on the streets this is pure dominance except for these guys I mean is there something bigger than this is this even made for Germany? I'm honest with you, this is made for the US market or for the Russian market and also for the Arabian market because they love to do like pure off-roading. I think for Germany, driving this in a city, it's not the best. the way it's pushing in the front and then accelerating the g-class feel i would love to see how that looks from the outside but all in all guys how do you like the drive with this 800 xlp super black edition i think in my opinion they've done an amazing job especially in the interior as always guys the attention to detail is just astonishing all the parts they have redesigned and remade Bravo's masterpiece this is a true masterpiece I mean the car in total is just wow 
I love it. How do you guys like it? Leave it in the comment section below. How do you like the drive, the interior, exterior? Would you also spec an XLP in super black edition, full black? Leave it in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you all an amazing day. I will be back.